You just finished your first 3D printed item and you pop it out of the printer after 24 hours and you're super stoked. But at our closer look, it's filled with disgusting layer lines and you are disappointed with the time you have wasted. Fret not, my small human friend, for there are things you can do. I'm going to show you five of them you can do right now. Bust out the notepad, sit back, and enjoy. All right, guys, first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to do a printer check. So the first one I have up is level. All right, so if you have a newer printer, this is pretty simple. Just click auto calibrate or go home and it will start leveling out by itself. If you're rocking out an older printer, then make sure you guys are manually leveling out those with those knobs. You're doing the pressure test, the paper test, whatever you got to do, but make sure your bed is level. Next up, what I have is just good gear. I'm going to show you here in a second with my Bamboo Labs X1C that I did have an extruder problem. It was still producing good prints, but there were some flaws. So I'm going to take this silicone sock off and I'm going to show you. This hot end is completely bent to one side. Let's see if we can see here. Yeah, I had to replace this. Just make sure your gear is good. So I replaced this. My nozzle's good. And then also clean your bed. Make sure your bed is free of any debris. Last but not least is filament. Anytime I'm trying to one shot a helmet or have a bigger print, I like to open up a new roll of filament so I have no issues with that whatsoever. All right, so my first tip for a zero sand 3D print is to get a textured file. You can find tons of textured files online. This specific one is from Yoast Studios. Um, I picked it specifically because I didn't want to sand this and I just kind of wanted to put some paint on it and then call it good. So what I like about this though is every time I have printed a textured print it hides the layer lines inside the textures so let's see if we can see any layer lines up close um, right there if you see any let me know in the comments but for the most part this is a pretty solid print so again tip number one if you want to hide those layer lines go for a textured print I know you can kind of see it right there a little bit in person, but that's because I put some paint on it. And that's honestly the worst spot of the helmet. This was, it was laying down like this. And so that was the top layer. And typically top layers are known to have ringing and you could definitely tell, but on this helmet, you can't really tell at all. Hey, congratulations, you made it this far. If you have enjoyed yourself and you're finding some useful tips from this video, consider liking and subscribing. And if you have some tips of your own, comment those down below. I would appreciate any feedback and thanks for watching. Let's get back to the video. All right, so after the slice, you can see where the top layer is gonna be and where the ring is gonna occur. And that is gonna be right here between the eyes. This is the top layer of the print itself. So when you're making an STL file, not making the STL file, but when you're orientating the STL file in your slicer, try and orientate it into place, the top layer, where people's eyes aren't going to be drawn to it. If you were to have it right there, that's the first thing they're going to see is that ring right in the middle of the eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to you know, opt to slice this at a, a more upright position, and the ringing is going to be reduced, and it's going to be up higher. And so when people see your face or your mask's face, they're not gonna see that ringing effect. So second slice is done and looking at it head on, I'm not gonna see that ringing effect. The only part of the print that this is really gonna cause issues to is the top part. And since it's the texture print, it's gonna reduce this even more so. So when making a no sand 3D print, try to orientate in such a way that the ringing or the top part of the helmet is not gonna be an issue or even seen. So top layer is out of view for the most part. If you look at it from, you know, head on, it's near the top. Um, it has this channel. Okay, so it's it's out of, it's out of view. So when you guys are slicing a zero print or zero sand print, make sure you guys put the top layer away from where the eye is going to be drawn to. So the eye is going to be drawn to here. So let's put it up on top to where people aren't going to see it. So the fourth thing I'd like to talk about is something that's going to be in the slicer settings themselves. So with Bamboo Studio, it's pretty easy to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to layer height and I'm going to adjust it. So if I want to make a zero sand helmet, 
I want to pick a lower layer height than what you would have doing things normally. Typically, when I am printing, I go for the standard 0.20 layer height or the 16. But with this, I am going to try and go with the high quality um, layer height. So we'll click use. If you don't have Bamboo Studio, what you'll do is you'll go to layer height in your slicer and you'll just adjust it to that. Do some test prints. Make sure that your printer can do that first before you go and do a helmet. But layer height is key. So as you can see, when doing this, it is going to increase your time a little bit. But that's really no big deal because what you're saving in not sanding or post-processing, you're kind of spending with, with slicing time. So less manual labor, but the machine's going to be doing more work. So in the world of 3D printing, we know there is no such thing as a perfect print. Everything with the process of printing is going to add layer lines or some minor imperfections. So something you can do is add something that I like to call eye catchers. With this Spidey helmet, I have a few eye catchers. The first one I want to talk about is Venom. Uh, the part on Venom, you have white and black, and those are two contrasting colors, and so people's eyes are going to be drawn to that naturally. They're going to be looking at that, and so that looks really good with the stark contrast. The next one, I'm going to wait for the helmet to turn around. The next one is the, the lines of the webbing. I went through an air with an airbrush, and I just kind of highlighted those and darkened those, and it actually turned out very well and added some shadows. So that is going to be drawing people's eyes away from little imperfections that might be in the build itself. Another eye catcher is just within the model itself, and it's Spidey's eyes. The way the mask is set up, red, black, and white, those eyes are going to draw people's eyes to them. So with this particular print, make sure the eyes are good to go. And by that, I mean make sure there are little to no layer lines. Make sure you guys tweak the layer height with this part and just absolutely make this one perfect. All right, so there's some quick tips for zero sanding helmets. Hopefully you found something useful from these ramblings. And if you have, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. I'm Queso Builds.